Do you get by with a little help from your friends? Most of your favorite superstar artists and musicians at some point in time have joined forces with other musicians and organizations to broaden their horizons. Doing this ensures a successful and long lasting career. Today we're talking about collabs and how they can be a game changing tool in your journey as a musician. What's up friends, I'm Shug Daniels from Gable Music Ventures, here to bring you some more music industry tips and tricks. If you're into that type of thing, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell so you don't miss out on any more music industry goodness. Collaborating can sometimes come easier for some than others, but it's beneficial for all. It can get you out of a creative funk and expand your audience to new potential fans. Think Run DMC and Aerosmith's Walk This Way. Jay-Z and Linkin Park's Collision album. Oof, I still run to that. Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney. Maybe that didn't end so well, but it did introduce Paul McCartney to a whole new generation of young fans. It can get your name in geographic areas that you've never even visited before. And depending on how you collab, it could lighten some of this work for you DIYers out there. The obvious collaborations are always going to be with other artists, musicians, producers. They don't have to be local. You can look for artists in another city or another state. You can even project to a wider audience by collaborating with someone outside of the country. You can collab with a producer or an engineer with a very distinct sound. Maybe even allow them to remix music that you already have out. You can also collaborate with brands that align with your morals and values. Clothing, jewelry, breweries, the sky's the limit. Now when you're collaborating, you're definitely trying to level up. So make sure you're linking with brands and artists, musicians who have around the same size fan base as you or a little bit bigger. And always, always with brands, musicians, artists who want to grow just like you. Okay, you guys are ready to collab? Well. First, you gotta find someone. Then you gotta choose how you wanna collaborate, what you wanna do. You're gonna set some goals. And lastly, you're gonna keep communicating with your newfound partner in crime. I mean music, newfound partner in music. Great places to discover artists with the fan base and style that you're looking for are Bandcamp, Facebook groups, and Spotify's fans also listen to. There are also lots of different apps and I'll list those down in the description so you can check those out too. There are so many ways to collaborate with other artists. You can co-write a song, swap gigs, you can share a tour, remix a song, create Spotify playlists together, or do an Instagram Live. Now it's time to set goals and establish how you will be collaborating. You need to understand what they're expecting from you and they need to understand what you're expecting from them. If any money is to be made, be sure to figure that bit out before any work is started. Be sure to keep communication open throughout, not just in the beginning of the collaboration. Know that it is okay to check in periodically with your co-collaborator, especially if you're working remotely. This is your project too. And set goals for end dates, goals for posting, if you wanna collab on any photo shoots or press, and how many posts each would like to see leading up to and after the release of your project. Don't forget this and I stress follow up. Take time to reflect. Were the results what you expected or what you hoped for? Did you get a bump in streams, follows, downloads? Did you sell any merch? If a music collab didn't work really well, maybe a brand collab will. Maybe they weren't the best artist for you to be collaborating with. Was it worth the amount of effort and time you put into it? Try different things for best results. And whatever works, be sure to do it again. And remember, the music industry is a marathon, not a sprint. So slow and steady, purposeful, that's gonna be the way to go. So that's it for our music industry tips and tricks for today. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell so you don't miss out on any of this good information. I'm Shook Daniels and on the behalf of Gable Music Ventures, stay safe, take care and I don't even know what just happened. My brain said, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. You ain't about to do that. You're going to jet up is what you're going to do.
Bandcamp, and Spotify's artists that also <laughs> fans also listen to. <laughs> fans also listen to section. This is my air guitar. Whole new fan base of fans. What is a fan base of fans? You right. We <laughs> y'all know what I'm trying to say. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. That's how you play the guitar. If you guys didn't know, that's how you do it. <laughs>